Well, welcome back. Those temperatures are dropping. People are turning to comfort food. It seems easier for humans to pack on the pounds over the winter, and the same can hold true for pooches. Dr. Angela Rollins, a veterinary nutritionist from UT College of Veterinary Medicine, joins us today. She brought a little friend with her. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. All right, who you got here? This is Sugar. Okay. So Sugar used to be really overweight. She used to weigh about 47 pounds, and now she weighs 22, so she's you're lost kidding. 25 pounds. 20, you're kidding me. Yeah, yeah. Now how did, th how did this happen? How did she lose? Well, she got a new owner and got a diet plan with our nutrition service at the vet school, and then just gradually over time, we, we helped her lose weight. And you all have had some serious success stories with dogs, right? I mean, you yeah. have one of your own that I do, lost yes. a lot of weight. Um, what are some things that they that they go through in this in this program? Well, in the nutrition program for weight loss, you know, we're going to look at their calorie intake, and we may change their diet and their food, and put them on an exercise plan, and then accountability, and having the owners come back and reweigh them. And now, do you still have like the little underwater treadmill thing and all that kind of? Yes, we do. Yeah, um, so they can get exercise that way as well. That's amazing. Um, for folks that are, you know, Christmas is coming up. We just into Thanksgiving, what are some things they need to watch out for with their own animals? Yeah, so sometimes winter can be a time when your pet may gain a little bit of weight because they're not maybe as active. You may not take them out on walks as often. Or if you have an outdoor dog that's outside most of the time, they might need a little more food because they're trying to keep their body temperature up and may need a little more energy. So they just will have weight changes with the season, kind of like we do. Okay, at what point do you call your, your veterinarian? Well, if your pet is overweight, you should have your veterinarian help you with a weight loss plan. So things to look for to see if your pet are, is overweight is you should be able to see a little bit of an indentation coming from the ribs to the waist if you look at them from above. So it should look almost like an hourglass. And then you should be able kinda to- Kind of like my figure. Yeah, exactly, kinda, yeah, exactly. So what, yeah. um, and then you should also be able to easily feel their ribs. Okay. So you shouldn't be able to have them like sticking out, um, you know, really dramatically, right. but you should be able to easily feel their ribs as well. Okay, any breeds susceptible to weight gain? Oh yes, lots of them. Um, things we think of like Dotsons, yeah. Golden Retrievers, Labradors, but there's a lot of breeds. And then some breeds, you know, they can be overweight even if they're not predisposed to yeah. it. Well, you need your own show. It's amazing what you've done over there. <laughs> well, thank Incredible. you. Incredible. Well, good seeing you. You too. Good to see you, Sugar. Interesting name for a dog that's lost a lot of weight, Sugar. <laughs>